Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for stopping by. Today's video is going to be 2019, the year of the reset. So lately I've been kind of watching a YouTuber on YouTube, of course. Um, her name is Michelle B. If I can remember, I will link the video that kind of set the catalyst for me for, for this year for what I want to do. And her channel is mainly about being a more organized and efficient person and just being able to like do things in a better way. So I started watching her channel and I've just really been inspired by her, like her ideas, her um, her videos in general and I thought 2019 it like I had already been feeling lately in the past year that there was just stuff that I needed to get done and I just was holding myself back and I wasn't really putting any effort to really get things done um, in terms of the house in terms of my personal life and things like uh, that so I had already had that feeling um, this uh, this past year and watching her videos they inspired me and it kind of motivated me to start writing things down to really think about what I wanted to do for 2019 and how I just wanted to not only start off 2019 but how I wanted to continue pushing myself forward to being somebody better in 2019. And so something that I also found helpful last year was a bullet journal. I started bullet journaling um, a couple of months ago. I don't really remember when I started. I just know that I was looking through Pinterest and this bullet journal kind of topic subject started popping up on my like my feed I guess is what we would describe it for Pinterest and I kind of was like what the heck is a bullet journal so I did more um, not research but I looked into it a little bit more with Pinterest. I kind of looked uh, I did a quick Google search on it to see what it was about and it's basically one notebook that's dotted and I'm going to try and give you a, a blank page. So if you can notice, these are the dots. So it's more like a dotted uh, type of journal where it's a one and all. You That way it eliminates the need to have, as you can see here, so my topics are like ColourPop. Um, it basically eliminates the need to have five different notebooks for five different categories or ideas or subjects. And this has been really helpful. I have made lists of things that I have in stock in my beauty room. I have made to-do lists. I have made, um, like I currently have a whole section in my bullet journal for video ideas and website ideas for this year. Um, I have my page set out. I don't have all of my ideas written down. I kind of want to try and do it month by month basis for that. Um, but this has been helpful lately and I will continue to use this system in, you know, not in accordance, in line with my reset for 2019. And so I just really want to do this. I want to start with the house. There, every room kind of feels uh, cluttered and I've kind of decluttered the one room but I need to do a full house declutter and I think what's going to help is we've broken it down into sections. So each month we're going to be working on a different area of the house or a different room so that we're not trying to do everything in one setting, uh, not setting, sitting and, you know, pull our hair out and just really get ourselves more anxious because the point of this reset for me is really to lessen the stress, to not be as anxious about things, um, and to really start to feel like I can be happy again, like I can enjoy things without feeling guilty for going out shopping because there is a ton of things to do at home that I need to clean up or that I need to get ready and things like that, you know, just to be able to enjoy life a little bit more. So that's my plan for 2019. I will hopefully start to create a playlist. This will be the first to go in the playlist for the reset as kind of a series, I guess, is what it would end up being. That way I can keep you guys updated with my progress and also keep myself accountable. But I wanted to share that with you because it's a new year. It's time to do new things, to try new things, to kind of refresh and start over. And that's what I feel that this year is going to be. 
every year everybody always has that same idea of starting over. I just really want it to be more of a starting over point and then in future years be a, a progression towards more where I'm not always feeling like I necessarily need to start over. So that is going to be my ambition and my mood, my theme for this year is just reset. Um, Michelle B talks about having a um, I think she calls it a guiding word, and let me look this up real quick because yes, I did take notes in my bullet journal. Uh, I watched a lot of her videos um, during the past couple of days um, because, you know, it. she had a series, a, like mini series going on for seven days of, like just seven days that she was doing differently or to prep for 2019, and I didn't follow the seven days, so I kind of just did it all in one sitting. But if I could get to my notes, that would be fantastic. Oh, here we go. Nope, that's the wrong page. That's the wrong page. Um, she also like had ideas in terms of like having a, a list of what do you, you want to invest in in 2019 or how do you want to feel in 2019. And um, I will link her weekly reset video because that was a catalyst for this. Um, if I remember, I will link that below and that should, you know, bring you to her channel and from there you can see all her other videos that I'm talking about. It would be fantastic if I could, oh, yes, guiding word, that's what it is, all that for the guiding word. So for me, this year, my guiding word is going to be a reset and I want to see how I can go with that and how I can accomplish uh, resetting uh, in terms of the home, personal, and all those other areas of life. Let me know what you guys are excited for in 2019. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this being, uh, it's gonna be ambitious, but it's an exciting project for me. So let me know what you guys are excited about for 2019. What are some of your plans? What are some of your goals that you're wanting to put forward? What are things that you wanna do to be a better individual, to really just help improve yourself and be more efficient? Um, I can't wait to hear from you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.